one in Germany in 1914, and I've heard stories about it during in Italy during World War II. Be quiet. You can play this stuff. I'm getting old. I'm getting just like all the old guys. Pull the, Be quiet, David. He wants to know what I'm doing. And I'm getting like all the old guys. I've got to pull out my list and see what I know how to play. Sometimes I have a list. Well, I get the one in my head and then I have to lose track of it. I think I want to play whiskey before breakfast in D. Probably better playing it than drinking it. But you know, <laughs> the name of the song is Whiskey Before Breakfast. But when you sing that, it's Lord room. have mercy and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. That's because there's not enough room to put it before. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. I just don't understand the name of that tune. But anyway, we're, this is what we're doing. Thank you. Now, since these boys are doing such a good job, I want to play Soldier's Joy to write good clip. In D. It'll be in D. Don't worry. It'll be in D. And what was soldiers, the Soldier's Joy? Oh, I've heard all kinds of stories about what the Soldier's Joy was. For some, it was just their pay. For some, it was their it was partly their pay, but then they would go buy booze. Some would go buy cocaine. Some would buy any kind of any, anything, well, morphine. They could probably go to houses of horizontal refreshment. They, they really wanted their pay, and then they could do whatever they wanted for joy. So maybe they just went and bought ham sandwiches. I don't know.
One more. How about we play the black velvet waltz in C? C, it's just C, David. It's just C. You can do this. He knows new... the chords in the key of C. Yes. Yeah, I, I know the chords for C. You do. Don't mean I know I'm sure I've told waltz. you about when I was in banjo class, there was one woman who had a five string, and she was really focused on learning her Scruggs role. And so she would sit there with all the open strings and play that. And. <clears throat> Most of the rest of us would practice, if we were in the key of G, we'd play a couple of licks of the G chord, and then we'd switch to D7, and then back to G, and back to C, so we could get used to moving our fingers. Not Ginger. Ginger just sat there and did G. And I found out, 40 years later, when she showed up at a jam, that's what she still does. She plays her Scruggs roll for a G chord with the open G tuning. She does not know C. She does not know D7. She plays G. You can do better than that, David. You at least know the chords. <laughs> we'll see. But where's his banjo? Oh, uh, he doesn't need a banjo. I don't know where his banjo is. What did I say I was going to? Oh, Black Velvet. If I play the banjo, at least I have an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Black Velvet Waltz. <laughs>
Thank you. Thanks, Mary. Roger's up next. He said we need a bass player up there. Roger's, Roger can't uh, play the fiddle and the bass at the same time. Appreciate it, Sid. I'm going to do a combination fiddle tune and song called Little Beggar Man. He knows it. No, I'm going to do it in a different key. I'm going to do it in D. Yeah. And you'll recognize the tune in all the... All, it's, it's going to be all the same fingerings as when it's in A. It's the same as Red Haired Boy. It's all the same fingerings except moved over one string that way. Okay, here we go. And and it's gonna be A A B B, except I'm gonna sing the second B and the first A. At least once. Okay. I'm a little beggar man, a beggar man I be. I've lived four score years in this little isle of green. Beg for my supper both morning, nine, and noon, and the name that I go by is old Johnny too. Of all the trades I know, sure the begging is the best. For when a man gets tired, he can lay him down to rest. Begs for the supper if he's nothing else to do. Only come around the corner with his old rigadoon. I slept in a barn way down the road I slept in the rain and I slept in the cold With holes in the roof and the rain coming through And the rats and the cats were playing pick a boo When who should come in but the lady of the house In her white scotty apron and her calico blouse She got frightened and I said Boo! Oh, don't be scared, ma'am, it's only Johnny Doo road with a big heavy sack it's over the road with a pack on my back with holes in me shoes and the toes peeking through and the something I must be going home it's getting late at night the fire's gone down up goes the light good luck and good health and God bless you and that's all you get from old Johnny do
with holes in my shoes and the toes peeking through. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. He, he gave me the last name. Saying, Skinny me rinky dinky dinky, it's old Johnny Do, something like that. Anyway. You missed the flax haired girl. That's oh, I missed the flaxen haired girl. <laughs> With a name like Plaxton, how can I miss flaxen? <sighs> and I think flaxen does mean this color. That's not gray, by the way. Oh, no. Only this is. No, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, let's see. in E minor, whatever it is. think of what the name of that is. Road to Liston Barn. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, and I've got this buddy named Roger Kohlenberger who often travels with a penny whistle on a string around his neck. Um, he's never choked himself with it yet. And uh, he, he was uh, being a tourist in Ireland, and he would actually played that tune while they were driving along the road to Liston Barn. Pretty neat. Oh well. Let's see. Okay, I ought to do something a little. Do you know how hard it is to drive while you're playing a penny whistle? Yeah, well, he wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have an Irish driver's license. He'd have a hard time reading Not it anymore. anyway. <laughs> Am I doing that in the right key? What are you doing? Da da ba da. Oh, oh. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this is She Begs She More. Is it supposed to be in that key? D? Huh? It's in D. It's in D. Okay. She, uh, uh, she Begs She More. The big hill and the little hill, commemorating a battle between the fairies that lived under the one and the other one, evidently. Fairies is not a bad term in Ireland. Thank you. 
Thanks, Roger. <laughs> Dean is up. Um, after Dean up. does her, heads up, listen up, listen up. After Dean does her songs, what we're going to do is we're going to make a big circle right here in the, and you guys can play to your heart's content until quarter to five, okay? Okay, I'm going to do a couple tunes in honor of my dear friend who I call Bob Dad. Hi, Bob Dad. Uh, he didn't bring his fiddle today, but I want to do these tunes in honor of him. And the first one is Clear Water Stomp. It's one I learned from him. What is that in G? It's better be G. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 